Good evening. Thank you very much, dear person Indra, Dr. Indra Hark Singh, Minister of Energy and Energy Affairs, the Honorable Carolyn Sivasad Bakan, or Shannon, till almost like Bajan. <laughs> Professor Clement Sankat, Provice Chancellor and Campus Principal. Mrs. Marie Super Superville Nielsen, Program Manager of the Caribbean Awards for Excellence. Sister Paul, Dr. Raymond Ranchatar, members of the university management and staff, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank the Anson McCall Foundation for honoring me with this lecture. I hope that I can do justice, having come after the minister and, of course, Dr. Sabga as well. This evening, I hope to share a few things with you with respect to what the Caribbean can do. You are all aware of the fact that the, we do have a lot of energy in Trinidad and Tobago. The Caribbean is highly dependent on fossil fuels, spending billions of dollars per annum on petroleum. 95% of all energy is from fossil fuels. Caribbean's total fuel bill in 2004 was some $6.5 billion and rose to $12 billion in 2007. and in the opposite, opposite direction. As we all know, part of what is required in the governance of our countries is the building of economic wealth. The challenge facing us, or the challenges facing us, are to create that wealth through major infrastructural development, and at the same time, avoid poverty and the environmental degradation. Development cannot take place without the expansion of our energy sector. Energy is the fuel of development. And therefore, as we seek to expand our economic activity, the natural consequence is that we will need more energy. We do have the opportunity to look at a new possible platform which takes into account clean, renewable energy as part of the energy mix of the Caribbean. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy is the energy that is generated from natural resources, such as sunlight, wind, and water, which can be replenished by natural processes. Renewable energy resources are neither finite nor scarce, thus offering us the opportunity for exponential and sustainable growth. Other terms used, such as alternate energy or regenerative energy you may find from time to time. Renewable sources of energy include solar thermal, such as we use for heating water, solar electricity or solar photovoltaic, which simply means light energy or electrical energy, wind, hydroelectricity, geothermal, and biomass. 
all of these energies are available in our region. Solar energy is the conversion of sunlight into thermal or electric electrical energy. Solar thermal energy for hot water is the most commonly used form of renewable energy in the Caribbean. Photovoltaic process, PV, converts radiant sunlight into direct current electricity through semiconducting materials. And you've heard from the minister that there are plans to pursue that direction. Most of you would be aware that silicon is the major ingredient there, and the Caribbean is replete with silicon materials. The use of solar energy reduces recurring costs and saves scarce foreign exchange. In our region, Antigua is known to receive the highest level of solar radiation. And in the case of Barbados, we have sustained a successful experience, uh, experiment in the development of the solar thermal use for water heating. And of course, you would have heard that we are the oldest company in the region. This map gives us some idea of the penetration outside of Barbados of solar water heaters. I think there are a couple of areas missing. Um, we've recently gone into Guyana and Suriname as well. But the technology is available and certainly um, can be um, uh, shared throughout the region. In 2003, Oak Ridge Laboratory, laboratory <clears throat> on behalf of USAID, did a study on the success of the solar hot water system industry in Barbados. At that time, we had 35,000 systems, and the saving was $260 million between 1974 and 2002. Since then, of course, oil has gone up, and in 2009, the national savings was, for that year, some $96 million, and we saved, during that year, some 200 million kilowatt hours of energy equivalent, of oil equivalent energy. Solar thermal, therefore, can do the job of replacing electric and gas water heaters in domestic dwellings, as well as for commercial use in hotels and for hospitals. Here is an application in Grenada at the St. George's University where the system has been beautifully integrated into the structure. Photovoltaic is an exciting opportunity for the expansion of the thermal industry. Wind energy. Wind energy is a mechanical force which can easily be converted into electrical energy. Wind energy conversion is mainly derived through wind turbines. The Caribbean has had a long history of the use of wind from the early days of the sugarcane industry. The Dutch Caribbean, the islands of Aruba, Bonaire, and, and Curaçao, as well as Suriname, are currently using wind energy to generate electricity. Curaçao has installed modern wind turbines and has the biggest wind farm in the Caribbean. I think uh, Jamaica is probably a rival now. The Winkton Wind Farm in Jamaica is Jamaica's largest single investment in renewable energy, which reduces carbon emission and significantly boosts their electricity production and save millions of dollars. There's a proposal in Barbados for a wind turbine uh, facility uh, at Lambert's, and uh, the Barbados Lighting Power has just received permission for that system. So wind is one of the options which is certainly on the drawing board and being implemented widely within the Caribbean. Wind is perhaps one of the lower costs 
um, um, areas of renewable energy, the cost per kilowatt hour, once the wind turbines are installed, is lower than photovoltaics. Uh, wind, of course, uh, creates the, some environmental challenges because, of course, many people do not want to have the wind turbines near their homes. 